Can training your brain help to decrease your risk for Alzheimer's and dementia later in life? We're taking a look at some food and lifestyle switches you can make right now. Dr. Sharon Thompson is joining us in studio. She's awaiting this segment in the Open Door Green Room. She'll join us right after the break. So far in our uh, health segment this morning, we know that there is no cure for Alzheimer's or dementia, but research does show that you can decrease your risk of getting these diseases by making certain lifestyle changes. And a lot of that has to do with training your brain. So Dr. Sharon Thompson is joining us this morning with some of the little changes that we can make that could have a long-term impact, especially if you know that there's a family history of this. It's something that people really fear. Yeah, there's a lot that we don't know about these diseases. Mm -hmm. We do know that genetics, age, and sex have something to do with it, okay. and we can't change those. Uh -huh. But studies are pointing to the fact that people who do uh, meaningful, active work okay. have a lower chance of dementia, about a 25% lower chance. Also, people who are engaged in brain activities that sort of challenge your brain mm -hmm. um, seem to have a lower risk as well. Those are correlations, not causes, right. but it's something we can control. Well, and it can be anecdotal, but sometimes you'll see these stories, and it'll be even more tragic but it is that somebody who uh, was highly intelligent mm -hmm. and they lose their memory or somebody yeah. who you know had a voracious appetite to learn or lag like, gift for right. languages yeah. and then you know still yeah. it all diminishes and that just points that there's so much that we don't know okay. and we do know that these activities won't stop a disease if you're genetically predisposed but studies are also showing that if you do these things you may be able to retain your skills longer okay that's so you important. may not be able to prevent but you may have more active life more uh, higher skills for a longer period of time. Okay, well we want to hear so, all about that. So definitely. what are some of the suggestions? So some of the things that you can do is in, um, expose yourself to things that are unfamiliar. Okay. Because our brains really are, are plastic, especially as we're younger, and the connections form by what we do, by exposure and experience. So you can do things like puzzles, jigsaw puzzles, crossword puzzles. This one is really fun. It's a, you make a maze of circuits and you light up the light. Oh, cool. So you have to figure out what, how to put the circuits together to make the light light up. So okay. it's very satisfying because you see the light at the end. Um, crossword puzzles, um, logic puzzles. Um, I found this, this was actually on my bookshelf because that's the kind of geek I am. And it just has these little games that you can do that challenge you oh. to, to do different thought problems. Okay. And then you have little puzzles like this. This one I, I took apart and I was trying to put it back together. And you kind of have to figure out how do I get this note back up on the stem. And so you can fiddle with this for hours. Oh. Puzzles, right? yes. And it just challenges your brain and uses different parts of your brain. We all know, remember? Oh, the whole yes. Rubies? I don't want to mess it up because I can't fix uh, it. I can't fix it. <laughs> a shout out to my nephew, Sean, who can solve this in less than two minutes, by oh, the way, Sean, which is really incredible. Kudos to you. Um, I'll um, never be able to do it. Then, of course, the same old things. Exercise. Yes, okay. Getting enough rest. rest. Eating well. Your fruits and your veggies can never steer you wrong. Yeah, and there are, I mean, they do claim there are some brain foods, right? Like I'm suggesting maybe salmon and some different and, and those are the fats. foods that are good for you okay, anyway. in any event, right? Mm -hmm. So the, the healthy oils, the coconut oil, olive oil, fish oils okay. are good for you. The green leafy vegetables. In fact, all the colors of the vegetables, right? So are, so. are there any mm -hmm. risk factors, too, that maybe we could remove? I, I've heard about uh, people fearing some of the, like, sleeping pills that that can have. I, I, is yeah. it, I guess that's unproven at this exactly. point, right? Exactly. There's so much we okay. don't know. I mean, I think that the rules for good health are good mm -hmm. rules anyway. So you want to avoid excessive alcohol, mm -hmm. uh, smoking, excessive drug use. Because, mm -hmm. you know, drugs can make us feel good, those of you who are interested in cannabis, mm -hmm. but they make you feel good because they affect your brain. Okay, so you're and changing the chemistry And we don't know there. the long-term effect mm -hmm. of those on our memory, on our cognition as we get older. So you want to be moderate okay. about what and you And you do. mentioned that some people mm -hmm. are, are just m more predisposed to it. Mm -hmm. Is it more prevalent that we're seeing Alzheimer's and dementia in men or women? Uh, you know what? That's a good question that I don't know the answer okay. to. Um, definitely as we age, mm -hmm. we're all more susceptible to um, dementia. Yeah. And, and remember, Alzheimer's is only one form of dementia. Okay. Another form of dementia is actually related to atherosclerosis. The same stuff that can clog our arteries in oh. our heart can also affect our brains. Okay. And so dementia has many causes. Mm -hmm. And so as we age, those can all increase. Yeah, it's a cruel mm -hmm. fate for those who go 
through it, it because and the entire for family. Well, it, exactly. it affects everybody who loves that person, right? Exactly. So exactly. whatever we can do, yeah. someday we'll conquer that thing. <laughs> In the meantime, yeah, uh, <laughs> get fail. back at that. <laughs> get back at that, Dr. Thompson. <laughs> Dr. Thompson is with Central Phoenix Obstetrics and Gynecology. We appreciate you. You're Thank welcome. you.